How long did this take you? Uh, don't ask. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm not even sitting down to chill. My husband just came home and I'm just, I lost all the daylight. So I opened the door. My DIY is already ready for you guys and I am excited to share it with you guys. So if you wanna see what is going on and how I made this gorgeous balloon garland, then stay tuned and let's get to it. Let's go over all of the stuff that I'm going to use for my balloon garland. I have this uh, balloon pump. I will list a link in the description under this video. Whole bunch of balloons. Um, these were just extra white ones that I bought for one of my cloud um, uh, clouds DIY that I did a while ago. So they're just extra. We'll see if I'm going to use them. I have these um, pink, purple, and red balloons that I ordered like years ago. We'll see if they're still good, if I'm going to need them as fillers. I was planning on doing a dark purple, purple, lighter purple, uh, pink, silver uh, garland, and also I am using fishing line scissors, and that's about it. This is the staircase that we have over here and I want to make a huge garland going from here, maybe wrapping into my dining room and going from all the way from over there and down, down, down and looping over here and draping here. I don't know, we'll see how it's gonna go. I just want to try to make as big of a garland and use new techniques and tricks that I learned along the way. So I am excited and let's do this beautiful garland. At the balloon pump. Balloon pump to blow your balloons up with air. Uh-huh. I'm starting with the obvious step is to blow the balloons. I will tell you how many large medium or small balloons I would need. All of these balloons that are on packets of these guys that I had like years ago, ordered from years ago, these guys are, balloons are 12 inches balloons. So I just blow them different sizes, which would be a really smart idea to buy small size balloons, but we'll work with what we have. All right, let's go. I'm done blowing all of the balloons, you guys. It took me, I did set up a timer and I'm going to show you right now what this was. Uh, it took me about an hour and 39 minutes. I will take 10 minutes out of that time or 15 just because of um, Nicole is home and I am taking care of her as well. Breakfast, this and that, bathroom breaks, that's necessary too. So, about like an hour and 30 minutes to do, to blow all the balloons. I glove does have a reason. I wore this glove throughout the whole balloon process because I do get blisters when I wrap my balloons around my fingers and trying to tie a knot. I still feel that 
um, something was rubbed multiple times against my finger, but I'm not going to have blisters, so that's good. I did lose some of my um, balloons. I am in love with my purple, light purple and darker purple balloons. They are so nice. The latex is so good, it's very stretchy, it's so easy to tie knots on these balloons. Other balloons are so like plasticky or I don't know, it's just really tough to uh, tie a knot on other colors. So anyways, these pink ones, they're not really like pink. Am I seeing things? These are like corally, pinkish, I, I don't know. And this part was keep on snapping off the balloons. Like, I don't know, I lost what, three balloons because of that, even more because some of them just flew into the pile and I can't find them now. Uh, these darker balloons, uh, darker purple balloons, they, a few of them had uh, holes in them. So about like, what, five had holes, one just popped. And uh, yeah, minimum losses from these balloons, which I'm, I am happy. So now I'm going to tie these balloons by pairs or by clusters. I'll see what I want to do now. And then I will be starting to build my, my car land. These are all of my balloons that I blow up a lot. A lot of balloons, a lot of balloons. Now. I, seriously, these balloons over here, they were supposed to be more of a burgundy color, but they are, I don't know, brown, pink, but not burgundy, not even close. So that kind of threw this whole color scheme off. So as these balloons, as I said, they're not really like pink. Maybe they look pink on the video, but they're like corally pink, which I don't like. Those purple balloons are incredibly, they're so beautiful. And yeah, I'll just work with what I have. It might look weird, but I will try to make it as best as I can. Okay, I decided to go with two balloons per cluster. So all you do is take two balloons and you tie them together. Clusters ready, keep on doing that with all of your balloons. Uh, try to pair them with different colors. If the same color is gonna end up with the same color, that's totally fine, just keep on tying. I'm going to try to avoid uh, taking smaller size balloons and pairing them with bigger size balloons. I will try to make small balloons with small balloons just because I want to fill in the garland later and I want to build probably a little bit on like on the bottom of my garland like this cute nice fall. So I want to do that and maybe leave some balloons just single like laying around and then I'm going to take my uh, hot, not hot glue or you can take a glue gun but low temperature glue gun and glue the extra single balloons into spaces you want to fill. So let's tie all of these balloons, pair them together and move on to our garland. So I did pair all of my balloons. Uh, I did pair some of the small balloons as well, like really, really small ones. Um, now to start with your garland, you'll be taking one balloon, single balloon. This is a medium size and I'm tying my fishing line to my balloon. That way, when you're going to build up your balloon garland, nothing is going to slide off from your fishing line, so... Didn't cut my fishing line, I just keep it on this 
I mean full, not cut. I'm gonna keep it on my table and uh, I'm picking up my uh, clusters of balloons, putting right on top of my fishing line, taking my fishing line and going over balloon once, push my cluster as close as I can to this first balloon and then I'm going over a different balloon just wrapping it around one more time and here I have the start of my garland. Keep on building and putting your clusters on top of your balloons, wrapping your fishing line around your balloons a couple of times push it, make sure your um, garland is really firm and it's not like floppy and all that stuff. reached the end of my garland oh that's one long garland let me tell you I don't know I envisioned something different and it came out totally different like usual you hold your fishing line get your scissors cut your fishing line get the rest of your fishing line wrap around your balloon once and then put your hand through this loop um, of your fishing line right here and then grab this part of fishing line and pull it and tie a knot there we go and do it a few times just in case just to be sure that it's tied and it's secured properly you want to know how long this balloon garland is let me show you so we're starting here tying my garland to my stair uh, stairs so I took a extra piece of fishing line looped through my balloons and tied it as tight as I could
absolutely leave this garland as I have it here without adding any additional balloons. But since I have so many of those and I really, really, really want to add them to my garland to fill in spaces, to give more shape to this balloon, for example, here, I don't really like how it falls straight so I want to add more there or more underneath and maybe I don't know we'll see how it's gonna go hi there and yeah let's finish this up clean this up and we're gonna be done with this garland so I have a balloon glue dots over here not balloon but adhesive glue dots so what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm taking my clusters or individual balloons. Getting my glue dots and putting them right on my balloon. I learned that one glue dot per balloon is not enough. So I'm going to try to use two glue dots per balloon i'm gonna get a new pack per balloon and that way they're gonna stay um, longer and not gonna fall off fast one thing that i noticed if your balloons are treated with this powdery stuff and you're using glue dots uh it's very difficult get a paper towel get something to wipe that surface before you're using glue dots because yeah i'm wasting my glue dots just as yeah, like usual i keep on forgetting but if you use your glue dots wipe your surface before using it you guys today look at this beautiful garland i was kind of um, disappointed when i started blowing all the colors because they didn't make sense for me as i said a little bit earlier this burgundy color balloon were supposed to be burgundy but it looks more like brown orangish looking one i don't know and these pink balloons were supposed to be more pink than coral so I was kind of like, mm, should I do this video? Should I film it for you guys? But I am super, super happy with the outcome. I wish I had a event for this garland, but it's gonna be just a pretty um, centerpiece for a house while it lasts. What did I learn about this garland? Every single garland that I actually made. It's good to have a damped or wet uh, piece of paper towel because balloons are treated with powdery stuff to make sure they don't stick to each other. I found out that it's better to wipe your balloons before using your adhesive glue dots because uh, adhesive glue dot takes that powder and it loses that stickiness and balloons are falling more often then you wipe and then glue. I only had trouble with this part over here because I didn't wipe these, uh, how many, four or five balloons and I kind of just glue it to those big ones and I have problems. They keep on like falling and falling until I use like, I don't know, 10 glue dots and just glue them, you know, 
completely to those balloons. And yeah, you guys, get a paper towel, wipe your balloons before using your glue. That's very important. You're not going to uh, lose that much time. It's gonna worth it, believe me. Also, this huge garland took me about three and a half to four and a half hours to make. Keep in mind, I've been taking uh, some breaks here and there. I went to pick up the kids from a school bus and uh, my daughter's home, so I had to take care of her, this and that, so around that time. And keep in mind that blowing up balloons will take you the most time out of this project. It took me an hour and 30 minutes to blow all of these balloons. I am in love with this garland. I love how they kind of cascade down and form this huge cluster of balloons over here. Mostly, mainly, I have glue dots over here holding everything. And look at this, not even one balloon falls from my garland. I am happy with what I discovered that you need to wipe your balloons before gluing. Look at this, it's gorgeous. All right, I think I'm done. I will link every single balloon, uh, every single color in the description below where you can purchase it if you're interested for yourself. And I will link my balloon pump and all of this stuff. What, uh, one more thing before I end this video. As I told you before, I did use fishing line. I did use a fishing line to tie my balloons, so I looped my fishing line through my main balloon garland and tied it to my staircase. Let me show you again. Again, no fishing line, and again, fishing line, no fishing line, and going all the way, all the way up, and then right here I have another fishing line holding my balloons. And again, right here, it will all depend how you wanna drape your balloon garland. And then going over here, and then I went down and tied to my spindle. That's, that's about it. You don't need much of fishing line, but it would look gorgeous, it would look beautiful. And here's a view from the top. It's gorgeous. Let me leave you on this high note from the second floor of my house. And you guys, I will link everything in the description below and I will share a few pictures at the end of this video. Alrighty guys, so here you have it. This is my, I think, third take on a balloon garland. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about anything, then don't forget to leave them in the comments down below. If you're here for the first time, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos. And uh, yeah, you guys, come by, say hi. I'll be there to chat with you guys. And uh, I love doing that. And also you guys, everything that I just used and uh, every single balloon and everything, everything, I will link or list in my description under this video. If you're interested, go ahead and check it out. Alrighty guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you back very soon. Bye-bye.